Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Craft, and so today I'm going to show you how to make this really simple um, little pocket. Now I've added a paper clip to it, and it's like it's got four pockets: two on the front and two on the back, um, and it can just be clipped into your journal. So I think they're really easy, made out of one piece of paper, so they're really really simple. Um, do apologise, I have my plaster on here. This is where I burnt my hand, and I keep knocking it, so I popped a plaster on it. Um, but it is getting better. So this is what we will be doing today. I want to show you quickly though, which are my new papers, my new digital papers, um, because I'm going to be using them today. So I'm just going to give you a quick flip through. Now this is called the French Collage Collection, um, and it is really lovely. So we've got lots of lovely French ephemera in there and some lovely flowers. So I'm just going to give you a quick flip through like this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love it. So there we go. So we've got some backing papers here as well. Some sort of like plainer ones which are lovely. Like this. And then we've got some lovely embellishments. So we've got two different size corner pockets. Um, we've got some lovely little tiny um, tags there. Some little round little cabochon ones. Some four lovely tags there. We've got some pockets, um, some more tags. Lots and lots of things in this one. We've got the lovely postcards that we I normally do, which are nice. So we've got the other four there. We've got some hearts and some little belly bands and lots of lovely little shapes on there. So they're the little postcard ones. Um, six bigger um, tags. Lots of little diddly tags, which I love, which are made really nice for little dingly danglies. Um, and then I've made some little pocket, not little pocket, some little envelopes. Um, which are really really nice so there we go so they're what I'm going to be using today so I thought I'd just give you a quick flip through um, so these here are really nice now they can be made in sort of like different sizes but they're just made out of one sheet of paper so um, and then on these ones here I've just made the little fan the little fan, fan flower like that which I'll pop the link to the video to make that because it's really simple as well. And I've just popped that as like a little embellishment in the book, in the little um, pocket I mean. And then we've got a bigger one here, which I think is really, really lovely. So you can do all your little bits of journaling on there. So it's a nice little bit of hidden journaling. Um, and that just sticks on the front there. And then we've got the four pockets. So we've got one pocket there. We have one pocket there that side and then again on the back one there and one there and then I popped a paper clip on it now obviously that's you don't have to do that but I think they look really good inside your journal so you've got your four pockets um, and then you just clip it to the top of your page like that so it doesn't go anywhere this one I haven't popped a paper clip on so this can be sort of almost like a little floating pocket so you can pop that as well into um, one of the pockets or anything that you've got in your journal anyway but I thought I'd pop a paper clip on the back really simple to do um, just so it doesn't go anywhere in your journal so easy peasy so let's pop those to the top now I'm going to use this sheet now all I've done is cut it in half now I have printed on the front and the back like that so I've just cut it in half so you just need one sheet and then all I'm going to do is fold it in half like that just both of them fold that one in half and then fold this one in half okay so you've got two now what I'm going to do I'm going to fold this piece back now you want to sort of like fold it so it's even each one is sort of like as even as you can get it like that okay and the same with this one so this let me make sure i've got this right this will slot into there so we need to fold this one back so we do it this side so we want to make that as even as possible like that so you have two pieces of paper like that so they're exactly the same okay so you just fold it in half and then fold that piece back but so these three panels are sort of like roughly the same and then all as you do 
and slot them in together like that just on top of each other so then you've got your pocket there your pocket there turn it over you've got a pocket there and a pocket there so this is why you want to um, print on the back as well unless you want this bit plain um, but I think it looks really nice when you've printed it um, like that so it's just two pieces of one piece of paper and then you fold them in half and then you fold this piece over and this piece over and then this one you turn over and you just slot them in together like that okay and that's as simple as it get as it gets now I sewed mine okay so I've sewn down this edge so you sew down there let me open this up and then sew this piece together like that okay on both of those so I'm going to go and do that now um, and I will be back two seconds okay so there we go I've sewn down those so that is stuck to there but this piece still open so you've got this much as a pocket like that so I'm going to open cut open it cut the little bits off like this little bits of cotton oops there we go and then what we want to do we just slot it in like that and that is so simple to do I'll just cut that a little bit off there and then what you do you pick whichever it doesn't really matter which you want your front and back it doesn't really make any difference but what I'm going to do I'm going to take a paper clip and I'm going to put the paper clip in between this bit just on the top like that okay and then hold that together and then what I'm going to do I'm going to sew down through there and down through there so there's no sticking if you don't want to sew just stick it but make sure you, you stick each layer at the top here along there and along there but sewing is so much easier so I'm just going to sew through there be careful of your paper clip so go really really carefully but your needle will sort of like jump over that so just go slowly over that bit so I'm going to quickly just sew along the top and along the bottom there we go so that's sewn at the top and the bottom let me just cut these little bits off here like that Oops. okay perfect so there's the paper clip so the paper clip has just been sewing in like that so if you're not going to sew I would stick it in just stick it from the back um, and then that will just go onto your page like that just clip it on and you've got a lovely little pocket on there so you've got the two little pockets at the front and two little pockets at the back so what I'm going to do let me take now these are the little envelopes that I made so these are the ones that come in the digital kit as well they're really simple to make they're the same sort of envelope that we had for the Friday freebie um, so that's what I've used there and then I've just used one of the postcards in there which I've just folded in half and I've rounded the corners um, and these are made to fit in there perfect so that just slips in there so this can go in this side like that so that fits in there lovely and then we've got some of the little tags which go in there this is another little envelope this is the other one so I've done exactly the same made it rounded the corners you can pop little bits of paper in there and make a little journal um, pop that in there so that's just a nice little journaling spot if I can get it in so that will go into this side like that and then we can have another little tag in this side so that's perfect that's lovely now we can just embellish the front so I did cut out some of these little round bits here these little embellishments so that's the little um, roses on there so let me get a little bit of a cheesecloth so if you have some sort of like leftover bits of paper from anything you can make just make up a couple of these envelopes little pockets I mean not envelopes um, and then um, you can make it out of book paper as long as you have two pieces of paper the same size so I'm just going to just stick that on there like that a little bit of glue 
So again, you can embellish them, embellish them as much as you like, or as little as you like. Because if you've got some lovely paper, they don't need too much embellishing. Put a little bit of glue on there. That can just sit on top. And then again, you can pop a little bit of stickles or something on there. And I don't think they need too much. No, I think that looks really lovely. So you've got your lovely little bits of ephemera in either side. And then you just pop it into your journal with a little paper clip. And that's how simple it is. So there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. This one is made... Um, I'll pop all the papers that I've used in these anyway. Um, I think this is the French. The um, I can't remember. I can't remember. This is the, the shabby shades of yellow anyway. This is just a piece of um, book paper. This is one of my backing papers. This one's like, this one I haven't even popped a, a paper clip on this one, but I am loving them. I think they are really nice and you could just make up quite a few of these, um, even out of just bits of tea stain paper would look nice. And then when you're ready to pop them in your journal, you can just embellish them however you like to match your journals. So there we go, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I hope you're all safe and well. Please do take care um, and I will see you all soon. All right, guys. Bye bye.